Hey everyone, welcome back to another one of my weekly vlogs. I have a lot of stuff to go over this week and a lot of nice little goodies and surprises in store. So let's start things off. So lately we've been spending a lot of time talking about Bravely Default. It's going to be coming out really soon in North America, super exciting time. I'm stoked, you're stoked, I know I've had so many awesome conversations with all of you about this, and as a way of giving back, I'm holding a giveaway. So I have teamed up with Nintendo of Canada to give away one copy of Bravely Default, physical copy, um, just the original version of the game. Now unfortunately this is limited to my Canadian viewers, but if you still are interested, then what I I want you to do is leave a comment below telling me whether you're interested in the giveaway and tell me what your favorite job is and why. Tell me what whether that's a job that was already shown in the demo or something you're hoping to see. So I want you to do that by February 5th, that's two days before the game comes out, and then we'll send it off to you. So please let me know. Let me know whether you're interested, because I'm going to be talking about a bunch of other things in this video. So let me know if you're interested, and let me know what your favorite job is and why. If you can do that, then you are part of the giveaway, and then I will randomly pick one of you lucky people, and you will get a game. And then you won't have to worry about buying your own copy. So, I'm sorry this isn't a collector's edition, but it is an awesome game regardless. So, I'm sure you will love it. I'm sure you will love it. And then we can all discuss it together. Now, in other news, I've decided to partner with a company called Patreon. I'm telling you this because in the next video or two, I'm going to be releasing a pitch video. And I wanted to give you a little bit of context behind the company and what it's about. So, Patreon is kind of like Kickstarter, but to a smaller scale. It's meant for creatives like me or other YouTubers, bloggers, web comic creators, musicians, whatever. It's supposed to be able to help people like me or people like them be able to achieve more and upgrade and do things that they weren't financially able to do with their channel or with their projects or whatever it is. So for me, I would love to be able to upgrade my quantity of videos per week and my quality and upgrade my equipment in the process as well. And that's something I just cannot do. So I'm going to be reaching out to all of you to help me in this, whether that's just supporting me by watching my videos or to be able to offer a pledge. I'm going to be offering a lot of different goodies and I'll even have milestones involved. I'm not going to give any of that away because it's kind of a secret. It'll be more exciting when you actually see the video and when you can actually check out my Patreon page. So I I really hope you can help um, help support me with this in any way you possibly can. It's just something I've decided to do, something that I've talked to uh, friends about for a long time now and I've decided, you know what, I'm just gonna go for it. I'm gonna go for it because you know what, why not? Why not? It's, uh, it's, it's a little dream of mine, as I mentioned in a previous video, uh, what has YouTube done uh, for you, and it's done a lot for me. It's done a lot for me to the point where I want to think about this as something long-term. I want to think about this as a business. I want to think about this in ways that I never would have imagined. So this is a very exciting time, and I'd be really curious to hear your thoughts on it. I'll even link leave a uh, I'll even leave a link below to tell you a little bit more about the uh, the company as well so I hope you tune in so in terms of gaming I haven't been doing too much gaming as of late however I've been playing Asura's Wrath for the pixel bit backloggers anonymous podcast so part two actually went up about five days ago or so, so I'll make sure to leave a link to that below. Julian and Angelo have been amazing, and I always have such a good time with them, uh, whether that's Nerds Without Pants or Backloggers. I'm having such a fun time, and I'm really enjoying this game, too. If you haven't played Asura's Wrath, I mean, take it with a grain of salt, of course, but it is, like, by far one of the best anime-style games out there. I'm, I'm really, really, really impressed by it, and it's so much fun. It is so much fun, and it's, uh, it's given, it's given me, uh, I don't know if I want to say it's given me a new appreciation for quick time because I've always liked quick time. I think one of my favorites is for Indigo Prophecy. I always really enjoyed the way that Quantic Dream implemented quick time events into their games. And I think that Asura's Wrath did a really good job with it too. So I'm chugging away on that game and I'm loving every minute of it. As for anime, I've really only been watching Clannad, and I am really enjoying it so far, but not as much as I thought it was going to. Now let me continue. I, uh, I'm not, I don't know, I'm not sure if I like the archetypes of the characters in the show right, right away. You know, I'm not sure how I feel about some of the characters. I feel like 
I like how exaggerated things are, but I also don't like it at the same time. I was looking for something else. I was looking for something more like, I don't know, that would rely more on subtle emotions and things like that. That's kind of why I like Nagino Asakara so much. And that's kind of why uh, Canon as well is because it relied on the dialogue in a lot of ways. So I feel like Clannad is a bit over the top right now, but I will keep going. I hear it's really great, especially after story. So I will keep up with it. It's something that I definitely, definitely want to enjoy and something I am enjoying, but I think I maybe need to watch a bit more. I, uh, I've been checking that out on kissanime.com. Some friends actually told me about it and I checked it out and was blown away by the selection. So if you are looking for anime that isn't currently available on Crunchyroll or Funimation or Netflix, that's definitely the place to check out in my opinion. Now in comics, because I'm finally actually reading something, <laughs> it's uh, I feel bad because I have a bunch of issues that I was talking about in my last pickups video and I haven't read them yet unfortunately. But I have been reading this other book, so I have to get to those soon. But uh, I just got this book by Paul Pope, it's called Battling Boy. I um, I love it. I love it so much. It's like super pulpy action. It's super cool. Look at this. Look at this is actually the perfect page to turn to. This kid is fighting a dinosaur. He's fighting a T-Rex. That's insane. Insane. And I mean the the dialogue is very pulpy, the art style is very pulpy, and I just, I like it. I really am really, really enjoying it and super enticed by it. I love this art style too. It's just so cool. It is so awesome. Here, let's see. Yeah, no, it's sweet. It's, it's so bizarre at the same time, but it's just what I needed in my life right now. Sometimes I, I need things that are, don't really focus as much on the narrative, but something that's just very over the top and not necessarily outrageous, but just super cool. And I feel, I, that's exactly how I feel about this. So if you haven't checked out Battling Boy and if you're interested in much more like pulpy action comics, then I definitely recommend this. So in terms of YouTube, I've put a little bit of that on the back burner. Um, I am obviously, I'm doing the partnership with Patreon, but I haven't been working on my perler beads or my design. I was super bummed about that, but I have other things that I had to do too. So sometimes I have to prioritize. And one thing that I did was I made an appearance on the Overshields podcast called Pixels and Bits, which was super fun. Those guys are so nice and I had such a great time talking to them and talking about JRPGs. So there was that. There there was, uh, like I was talking about, Backloggers Anonymous as well, and I also wanted to give a bunch of different shoutouts to cool YouTube channels that I really love and people who I feel like are extremely passionate about what they do. I gotta give them a shout out. I gotta give them this. So first off, I want to say the Overshield. You can check out their YouTube channel and from there you can find a bunch of their videos and their podcasts like the one I mentioned before. I also want to give a little shout out to Tassie Alabastro. He's awesome. He's so great and he does these really great skits and he has cream bananas um, where he has his gaming channel. There's also Original Game Boys, Shadow Elite 8, Aerodynamish, the Donovan Viper, Relewis 2011, and Gogo -Go Rufflecopter. All of these people are amazing and I definitely recommend checking out their channels if you haven't already. If you have, please leave them your love below because they all deserve it very much so. On a more somber note, I want to dedicate a bit of time to Justin Juwario who recently passed a few days ago. This is a really, really emotional period for a lot of people, a lot of friends, a lot of family, a lot of people who are very enthusiastic about his videos. He's most notable for You Can Play This, where he did tutorials for Japanese imports, very easy to understand tutorials, definitely making it um, more accessible to people um, in a way that it wasn't otherwise. But just in general, he was just such a passionate person and so enthusiastic about video games and retro games and just such an amazing human being and it's really really sad to 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 see him leave i uh i only briefly got to see him at last year's com bravo 
but it was amazing and you could just you could just feel the passion and you could feel the enthusiasm coming off of him so it's uh you know with a sad 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 heart it's uh it's it's a shame that he had to leave us he had to leave our presence and i just wanted to give him a bit of a, a shout out for all the amazing stuff he's done and i want to offer his family and friends my condolences during this difficult time so thanks for checking out this weekly vlog. I uh, am sorry I came a little bit later than anticipated. I just had some scheduling issues. I really hope that all my Canadian viewers check out the Bravely Default giveaway. I hope you get to check out Patreon as well. Check out all those YouTube shoutouts that I gave and offer a bit of time to remember Justin Juario and check out some of his videos if you haven't seen him yet. He's, uh, he's an amazing person. So let's remember him for for all those amazing moments. Yeah, so I hope all of you enjoyed. Please tune in again soon for another weekly video, another weekly vlog. And yeah, so please like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see y'all later. Peace.